Hey guys, welcome to this week's tech tip. I'm going to show you how to create a basic lead nurturing automated workflow. First off, before you create this workflow, you really want to determine what goals you want to achieve from this process. Is it brand awareness or lead generation? Is it educational? Do you want to establish more thought leadership and credibility within your industry? At Hive House Digital, before we even begin creating a workflow, this is what we ask the client. And from that point on, we create a document that details each email, deciding what content we're putting out, what the goal is, the call to action, delivery date, and so on. So I just want to communicate that there is a lot of calculated prep work that goes into these lead nurturing workflows. And if you go in without a clearly defined plan and goal, it may not perform as well as you are hoping. First off, let's create a target list that we want for the specific workflow. So you'll go to contacts, lists, and create list. You want to do an active list. Basically what HubSpot does is it goes through all of your contacts looking at old and new as they come in and it automatically updates over time. So contacts will come in and out depending on if they match this specific criteria. Okay, so we're gonna add filters. I want them to have downloaded our marketing budget prep checklist. Scroll down to form submissions. Now what we do here is that we have different master forms for each page. So we have clearly defined content that is going to meet them at the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, and the bottom of the funnel. So we're more easily able to see where exactly in the funnel are these contacts interacting with us. Okay, so that gave us 271 contacts. You can narrow it down even further and add another filter right here. As you can see, there's a lot of different properties that you can use. Some of these are ones that we created and some of these are HubSpot created ones. But you can use a lot of different properties to narrow it down and get as granular as you're wanting. So let's go ahead and save this list. All right, now, where you're gonna to go to make the automated workflows is right here, workflows. We'll go to create workflow from scratch. Let's start with a blank one. Now, just to make sure that we can review everything all together in a really, really nice package, let's continue doing the same naming convention throughout. First thing we're gonna do is set up the audience list that we just created. You can get extremely granular with the contact enrollment triggers, as you can see here. And you can also add in different um, extensions like Zoom, a website grader widget, and so on. Okay, so we have that set up as the enrollment. We want to send some more emails to them, leading them slowly down the funnel. So let's start with some more blog content that we have created about setting up your marketing budget. So we're gonna use that first email then we are going to give it a delay. Okay, so they're part of that list membership. We're sending them another email about 
marketing budget checklist, more blogs that we've done about that because they've shown interest in it. We'll have the four day delay. This email will send them to a gated landing page of our marketing budget webinar that they can access after putting in their information. This will not only help our credibility within the industry, but if they also submit their information for this webinar, it will really show us they're super engaged and really, really interested in the content that we are offering. Now let's set up an if then branch. As you can see, you have a branch right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have HubSpot look and see, did they open that last email that we sent? So we have the if then branch set up. Um, if they don't open the email, then we want to shift the direction a little bit and send some general marketing tips. So I'm gonna name this second branch as general marketing tips. So I know that this is what we're going to shift to. And this one shows that they actually open the email. So we're creating two different directions now. HubSpot is really good at seeing what you're doing and giving hints and tips throughout the way. HubSpot noticed that I did not add the four day delay, so we're gonna do that right now. So for the people that did not open the email, we're going to add another one right here. We're going to add in three. And for this one, we are going to add in email four. Okay, so this contact list, HubSpot is double checking if they open the second email. If they did not, we're shifting to general marketing tips and that's what this email is going to consist of. This email, if they did open it, we are going to offer them a case study showing that we took a company's budget and really brought them a great ROI in return. However, because we gated this webinar right here, we are going to leave this case study ungated. And then after that, we are going to send a simple contact us email, but we still want to delay for a set amount of time, just like we have been doing. So we aren't hitting them all the time. And again, here we want to do the same thing, delay for a set amount of time. We are going to add that final email. And both of these are going to be a simple contact us to meet them at the bottom of the funnel. Of course, the copywriting is going to be a little bit different based on what the content is. This we're still sticking to budget information. This we're going to more general marketing tips because they did not open that second email. So we're really meeting them at the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, and then the bottom of the funnel all throughout the way. Then we're going to go over to our settings. What times do you want the actions to execute? Any times. You can create a campaign. So what you would do is create campaign here and then type whatever you want it to be. Since we're looking at the marketing budget checklist, I would most likely put marketing budget contacts or something similar in that way. Go to unenrollment and suppression. You have the option that when contacts enroll in this workflow, you don't remove them from other workflows from you remove them from all other or specific workflows. For this one, we're gonna click this. 
When a contact no longer meets the enrollment conditions, do you want to remove them from this workflow? You can decide if you want to keep them or you can decide if you want to remove them or keep them. Here you can set a goal. And here you will see what I have changed and when. So this really, really helps if something has gone wrong and you need to troubleshoot the workflow, looking at this information and seeing what was done. If you go to details here, you will see how many are enrolled, how many have been on seven day enrollment. You'll see a chart here and then you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to change the data range. So that is a basic lead nurturing automated workflow, basically starting off with a defined audience and goal, and then sending them content relevant to what they express interest in, while also increasing your thought leadership and credibility within the industry. So the contact feels more comfortable doing business with you. Follow along for more tech tips. If you need any help with your HubSpot CRM, feel free to go to our website at hivehousedigital.com.